Today was our official opening ceremony. Successful fruition. We also welcome our supportive school. Our Cabinet principal Secretary. guest was Cabinet Secretary Fiona Hislop, who opened the school today for us. The ceremony was also attended by other invited guests, uh, including our elected members, and we were very pleased to have them along. The ceremony was also attended by all of our fifth and sixth year pupils and representatives from all of our pupil council, and it was really heartening that uh, a lot of our pupils participated in the ceremony today by being in the choir, by playing musical instruments and also giving the speeches. The and final year of school was the first ever year of Calderside Academy. Today has been it's a real, been a really good opening for the school and we've had lots of council members. It's just been really nice just to introduce our school in the way we have with showing all our talents that our school has. We've had uh, ministers and uh, reverends as well, who have blessed the school as well. Uh, myself and Amanda have uh, been the masters of ceremony, uh, keeping everything in check. We've had some music as well and uh, a few jokes in there as well. Um, I felt our open ceremony went really well because the full senior year was together and the MSPs were here and we had our special guests. And these are great facilities uh, and I think what can be offered to pupils is set the celebration. It's uh, important, it's not just pupils who use this school, it will be the local community as well and it really is a great honour to officially be here to share with you in that celebration. But I felt it went really well and because we're so proud of the school and to have it officially open feels really good. The Cabinet Secretary Fiona Hislop uh, was taking a, a tour of the school um, and she went to three or four of our departments to see the pupils actually working in classes. Um, she thoroughly enjoyed talking to the pupils, talking to the staff, finding out what kind of activities they're involved in, what they thought about the new school and who had a chance then to voice their opinions about the school. Because it's all brand new they need to get an idea of what we've came from and now what we're in because it's a huge improvement for them to go about the school and see how the classes work. It lets them see how the education is improving through the facilities and the teachers and the pupils have got a better relationship between each other because they're learning more, so I think it's great. South Lanarkshire Council is very proud of its school modernisation programme. It's one of the largest in Europe and at a cost of £300 million by 2009 we will have rebuilt 15 brand new secondary schools and refurbished two. I think it's a, a wonderful facility, the brand new facilities that we have, particularly in physical education, and science department, the IT department with all the brand new computers. And I think really the school will now go on from strength to strength. Uh, the facilities uh, are really so up to date and the classrooms are bright and airy and spacious and this lends itself towards a really good learning environment for the school. I mean, I was worried, weren't you worried that, you know, that it wouldn't be big enough, but it seems to be large enough to fit all of us and even extra pupils, mm -hmm. like with visitors and everything. It just seems to fit, find a place for all of us to be. There's spare classrooms for us. Your grades are a lot better because your facilities are better and everything's brand new. If you look around any of our brand new schools, you will find that we have excellent sports facilities, music and drama facilities, as well as state-of-the-art classrooms fit to deliver the curriculum for the 21st century. We are ready for curriculum for excellence. Well, I know that the school will go from strength to strength and uh, hopefully we'll build uh, stronger and better links with our own communities and also ensure that the school does become a central role within the, the local community and that all staff, pupils and parents really feel, see it as a central uh, building uh, within South Lanarkshire that, that they can feel safe and that they can come along to to take part in various events and also for it to be a seat of learning within, within uh, South Lanarkshire. Today, Frida Hutchison summed up the whole ethos of Calderside Academy when she said that the school, the pupils, staff and the local community take pride in Calderside.